Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've updated anything reading or writing related. Um, I am currently in the car with the littlest one back there waiting for my daughter to get out of school because that's happening and um i just wanted to come on here real quickly and say i'm still here i'm still alive i'm working on more content for you and also check out this mask that i have isn't this cute i love it, it says i closed my book for this um so yeah um, I'm currently reading two books. Um, after I pick up my daughter, I'm going to have lunch with my kids, put my youngest down for his nap, and do some updating. So until then, bye! update time. I'm about halfway through my reread of this. Um, I don't have much to say to, about this because it's a reread and it's a reference book for writing. So um, I mean I just don't have anything to say other than I still love it and I still think it's a great reference book for writers. I just started Mexican Gothic yesterday. I'm not very far. I started listening to it while I was updating my my Bujo. Um, I think I only got a chapter or maybe two in. Yeah, I don't think I've, I think I got the first chapter done. So literally only 15 pages in on this one. And I started this one last Thursday while I was waiting for my daughter's class to end. I'm also not very far in this one. I think I'm on like page 32. I've just been in like such a slump um, and it's not just even reading it's also writing I just haven't felt like doing any of it um, it's been a really weird week and a half maybe even two weeks I don't know if it's just because my daughter started school and it's just a little hectic with that or what Anyways, so I have two book of the month accounts. Um, there are some months where none of the books are calling to me and there are other months where all of the books are calling to me. And then I also use it to um, help build up the thriller and mystery collection that I've been trying to um, build up. So this month, the actual book of the months weren't catching my eye at all but I did want to grab a few of like the other books that they have available. So for one of my book of the months I chose The Last Story of Mina Lee by Nancy Julian Kim and I don't know much about this. I know it's a mother-daughter story and it says that it has a surprising mystery. So what I think this is, is a story told in the past and in the present about a mother and a daughter, and there's some sort of mystery pertaining to them. I really don't know a whole lot about it, um, but I want to give it a try. So I picked that one up, 
And along in that bunch, I got the new Ruth Wear one by one. And um, I think this makes my third Ruth Wear book that I have. I haven't read any of her stuff yet, but I want to. Um, so I'm excited for that. I also picked up A Rogue of One's Own by Evie Dunmore, and I have the first, well, I don't know if it's a, if this is like a series or a companion series, or if they're just standalone historical romance novels, um, but I picked up her first one, which was Bringing Down the Duke, I believe it was called. I figured since I already had the Bringing Down the Duke in the Book of the Month version hardcover, I might as well get her other one. I love historical romance, so that's why I did that. My other book of the month account, I wasn't originally drawn to this one, but then I decided against it and decided, well, might as well just give it a try. It's, um, I think a thriller. I think it's more of like a crime fiction rather than the mystery thriller that I'm used to but what interested me in Winter Counts by David Heska Juan Blee Whedon, Whedon um, is that it takes place in an Indian re reservation so I'm super intrigued by this and yeah it's a crime fiction and it deals with like drug cartels so this is interesting to me. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it just because it's on a different spectrum of mysteries and thrillers than I usually read, but I'm willing to give it a shot. So there's that one. And then I did fill up the entire box for this one as well just so that I can grab some more thrillers and I picked up then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. I have The Family Upstairs by her from a previous book of the month. Um, so I'm excited to have this one. And then I also picked up The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. Um, so it was like a month or two ago I picked up the Simone St. James book that was featured I think in the January or February um book of the month and it was called the sundown motel and i'm super intrigued to read that one and um i heard this one was pretty decent too so i'm just like collecting all of these mystery and thriller books so that i can read them because i want to read them um plus these i can easily pass down to either my best friend Shannon who only reads mysteries and thrillers um, or my grandma. Um, actually a lot of the book of the month selections in all of the different genres I can probably pass on to my grandma if I don't like them or even if she just wants to read them. And then also my mom she likes thrillers too but she's more on the fluffier thriller side like she really likes Mary Higgins Clark um so I'm not sure if she'll like all of the thrillers that I got um but I'm just really excited to like broaden my horizons on the mystery thriller genre so those are the book of the month books that I grabbed for September those came I think last week and then just on Saturday I think my owl crate came so figured I'd do a, an unboxing for you so let's go ahead and open the, I only cut it open um oh there's none of the stringly paper out of it I did see that we were going to get a blanket Alrighty. <gasps> it says that it's a Nevermore throw blanket. So, um, Edgar Allan Poe. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh, 
Do you see that? Oh my gosh, and it looks like it just like has nevermore like written all i can't get it all in the frame but oh my gosh <gasps> oh my god once upon a midnight jury while i pondered weak and weary oh my god i love this this is my new favorite thing ever edgar Allan poe is like one of my favorites like all-time favorites okay i'm gonna be using this all the time all right next in there is ooh. Sleepy Hollow, and it's like, it's a lip balm, I believe. Yeah, lip balm. And it's pumpkin spice flavored, and it is made by Fiction Bath Company. So there's that. Let's see how it smells. I'm not like, pumpkin spice isn't my favorite. I know. I love fall. Um, fall is one of my favorite, well, no, not one of my favorite. Um, fall and winter are my favorite seasons. Um, but something about pumpkin just, like, I really like pumpkin pie, but pumpkin spice lattes, not really my jam. However, it doesn't really have, like, a huge pumpkin. Here, I got a little bit on my nose. Let's see. Let's try it out. Mm, now I smell the pumpkin. It's not, um, it's not horribly pumpkin flavored. All right. And then there is Number one, I love this candle company. It's my favorite candle company. Um, and number two, it's Hocus Pocus themed. It's the Black Flame Candle. And it's made by Novelly Yours. Oh my god, she's my favorite. And it is vanilla and bourbon. And it's black. Oh my gosh, this is... This is amazing. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Ah! Okay. And then the monthly pin. Oh, this month's theme was A Glorious Haunting, I believe. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. I have to figure out what to do with all of these pins. Right now I just have them in, um, I have a Honey Dukes popcorn thing up there and I have all my pins in there. Okay, and then what's in the full box? Um, it says, Monsters were unrestrained, unbound, and beautiful in their destruction. And it's a three-piece coffee spoon inspired by the Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd-Jones. Oh, these are cute. And a gold one. And a black chromed one. Oh, these are super cute. What I've really been liking about Owl Crate lately is instead of like just like bookish kitschy knickknacks that I don't know what to do with. They've been doing quite a few like homey stuff like this, like one box there were metal straws, which I use all the time. Um, there were pot holders, there was an apron in one box. I've really been appreciating the homey stuff, like the stuff that I can actually use rather than stuff that I just like throw in a box and completely forget about. So I appreciate them doing these things. Um, not sure what this is, but um, there's maybe it's a chain, like some kind of necklace. Yep. Ooh. Oh no, it's in it. It's a bookmark. This is cute. 
This is super cute. Totally going to be using that. Love it. Death before DNF. <laughs> okay. And then I don't ever look at these until... I do look at this one. Okay, so theme of October is Legends and Lore. The book is Horrid by Katrina Leno or Leno. Um, not... Oops. That could have been bad. They all, like, shrink-wrapped it rather than in, like, the little plastic bag-like thing. I really like this cover. It's pretty. So Katrina Leno's Horrid. I have no idea what this is about. It is also signed. I've been loving that they've been doing like the signed stuff. And just because I have to, I always get my book naked so that I can see what it looks like. And it's just a plain black one, but that spine is super pretty. But ooh, as I was undressing it, this is the inside. The inside jacket cover super pretty so from this inside jacket cover art it kind of looks like this is going to be like a haunted house type of thing i'm excited to put this on my radar and then it also comes with a letter from the author so i'm just going to stick that in with the book and then i look at these things so first off is I wanted to see what the differences were in the covers because I love that Owl Crate has their own covers. So here's the Owl Crate, here's the original. And I like them both. I hate when I like them both because then I kind of want both copies, even though that's not financially like sound right now. But yeah, so that was my September... Yeah, September Owl Crate. Um, <laughs> seven new books in the past week and a half. Um, clearly, I have no control over myself. Um, I do know that I have a pre-order coming. Oh, that reminds me pre-order. So I have a pre-order coming next Tuesday, the 29th. And right, that is the 29th. I think so. Um, and it's Crush by Tracy Wolf. I'm super excited. I, um, I submitted my receipt for the pre-order incentive and that came yesterday. So it came with this bracelet that says Ludare's Competitor. Um, this really pretty book art. A Carpe Killum to-do list. This bookmark. This bookmark. And these two stickers so my daughter is being bad have kids they say all right anyways that's my update it's a rather long one even though hardly any reading has been happening. I told you I'm obsessed with Hocus Pocus. Um, but yeah, so that's my update. I will update when I have more to tell you.
All right, so it is Wednesday and I wanna do a quick reading update for y'all. Um, that's my son. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, so I wanted to do a quick reading update for you. Yesterday I got sucked into a YouTube binge and watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos and I was watching my best friend's recent cozy weekend reading vlog. Dana is that best friend if y'all haven't. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, I was watching Dana's latest reading vlog and then I decided to watch her previous videos that I had missed, which I think the only other one that I had missed was um, another historical romance book haul. And I did a thing last night. And I went on eBay. And <laughs> I bought two lots of historical romance books. So <laughs> I fully blame Dana for this. Um, I'm not sure how she just twists my arm and forces me to buy all these books. Okay, these aren't her fault. But <laughs> the historical romances are definitely her fault. Um, so in the near future, you are going to be seeing some mystery box unboxings. I bought specifically two of them. One of them was from the same lot that Dana purchased from, which I think she got from Peace Love Books. I think she, well, not got from her, but she bought the same lot that Peace Love Books bought. And then um, I found another one on eBay while I was searching through there. So, um, yeah, I also, did a small purchase on Better World Books, which is a website that has a bunch of used copies. And I bought the series of um, The Knickerbocker Club by Joanna Shoup because Dana and Kelly are doing another read along so um obviously I have to join that so I had to get the books for it um yeah so that's the update I did no reading last night I instead binged YouTube videos and worked on my robot journal a little bit and I kind of started planning for my 2021 bullet journal because clearly I have issues and decided that, you know, I'm just gonna start planning it and prepping it out. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do some videos on my bullet journal. I am totally for that if you want to. Um, I just don't know if anyone wants to see those videos or not. Um, but if you do, I'll totally do some bullet journal videos. I can do what Olivia Reads a Latte does and she does, I think, at the beginning of every month. She just basically records her filling, like prepping out her entire month. Um, or I could do a flip through at the end of the month to show you how the month went. I can do both. I can do none of it. Um, I'm all for what you guys want to see on my channel. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to go put all these books away because I just filmed another video. And I'm probably going to edit that video so that I can have that up because it's been like a week since I uploaded a video and I didn't really record anything in that past week because I just wasn't feeling 
anything other than watching TV shows. Um, so yeah, then I'm going to go get some food in the crock pot so that I don't have to do actual cooking tonight because I just don't feel like doing it. Um, so maybe I'm going to make like a chili or something. Maybe? I don't know. Um, and then after all that, I'm going to probably sit out on the patio with the kids and I'm going to read and do things in my bullet journal, maybe set stuff up, probably start prepping for the October spreads. Um, and probably do some kind of brainstorming for my writing and brainstorming for future videos. So that being said, I'll update you when I have more to update. Number one, hello. Um, this is going to probably be the last day for this vlog, um, because it's Sunday and I'm just going to, um, edit this and post it for tomorrow and then just start for next week. Um, few things. I got a whole bunch of new shirts. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? Um... I told you I was obsessed with Hocus Pocus. Did I not? Um, my reading for this week. Pretty non-existent. Um, I'm four chapters in Mexican Gothic. I am liking it. I attempted to read a little bit last night before we did a bonfire and the kids just would not let me. Even though my husband and my sister-in-law were on the patio, it was all about mama. So I got no reading done yesterday other than, you know, rereading the same sentence 50 times over because as soon as I would pick up the book, the kids are running to me um, and I don't think I've gotten much further in her fearful symmetry than I last updated you. I don't think I've picked it up. Um, so that's been my reading. I also still have to finish my reread of Save the Cat. Um, that being said, even though my reading has been pretty non-existent this week, um, I have been doing a lot of brainstorming on possibly opening up my own candle shop. So, I might be doing that. Um, we're gonna see how the next couple weeks of me making candles um go um so i'm super excited um another thing i'm gonna do an unboxing um and we have a, we have a book haul so I'm going to include this book haul in this reading vlog because next week I have two mystery boxes coming in um, that are historical romance mystery boxes. I'm super excited. So I'm going to quickly show you guys what I got in this book haul since I already knew what I was getting because I purchased this from Better World Books. Better World Books is a store that sells used copies and um I went a little overboard. So first up is Sweet Ruin by Cressley Cole. I'm just building my collection on her Immortals After Dark. Um I almost have all of them now. I think I'm only missing two or three and I think it's like a 15 or 17 book series. Um, again, going with 
The Crestley Cole, No Rest for the Wicked, um, and Pleasure of a Dark Prince. I think those were the only Crestley Coles I got. Let me check. All right, now we're going in, we're getting into the historical romance portion of this box, and I got Baron and Magnate, I think that's how you pronounce it, by Joanna Shoup. Um, Dana, my, my best friend Dana, and um, her co-worker Kelly are going to be doing Fall for Joanna Shoup, and it starts actually tomorrow. And this is the series that they're going with, so I obviously had to pick up the series. I have... I thought I bought Mogul, too. I think Mogul's coming in another box. I think I have more books after this. Because I'm pretty sure I picked up the entire series. Um, but anyways, so... There's those. Then there is The Duchess in His Bed by Lorraine Heath. Um, I don't know what any of these are about. I just, I see that I haven't read them or own them and I buy them. And then I got two Sophie Jordan books, um, Wicked Nights with a Lover. And I mean, I just, I love some of these covers. And look at that back cover. Oh my goodness. And Too Wicked, Too Tame, also by Sophie Jordan. And no, sorry. And then I got The Countess by Lindsay Sands. And Isn't that so pretty? So there's that one. So then the last book that I have in this box is Tempted by Virginia Henley. And look at this step back. It's kind of like a two page. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is from an older one. This is from 1992 so this is two years younger than me so that's kind of exciting um yeah so that's what I got in that box I'm get rid of that and why don't we unbox the bake crate um if you've never heard of bake crate they are a romance inspired book subscription box and so far I really really liked what they've included so here we go I haven't even opened it yet we're gonna get the first look and okay so the first thing that's in here is Ooh, bath salts, I think. Tub tonics, divination, sandalwood, and sage. So the first thing that's in here are some um, soaking salts. And it, there is, this is a necklace. pretty. It's interesting that it doesn't really have like clasps on other than these things. So mm, whatever. Okay. And then what is this? Oh it's a selfie stick. Okay. Clearly I don't know what anything is anymore. This cute little wallet. Um, some signed book plates that I'll put in the books. Um, the September theme was Rise from the Ashes. So 
So there's that. And they always include a little bit of art. And then a letter from the author. And more issues than Vogue. Little keychain. And this box has two books in it this month and it's the rogue king and the sequel the blood king by abigail owen so i already have a copy of the rogue king that i actually got in i think a scribbler box i might send it over to a friend so we'll see what i do with it um but this was this month i'm super excited um, I really like Bay Crate because they are romance only and I'm like hit or miss with subscription boxes because like I want the books but I don't necessarily always need what's in like all the other like knickknacks like if it's stuff that I'll use awesome if not like what am I going to do with it um, but I really like getting the romance books out of it because that's awesome so those are all the books that i've gotten oh wait um so i lied i have one more book this is scarlet odyssey by ct reezy i don't know how to, i i'm probably probably butchering that like crazy um my the scribbler box i'm always going to have i love the scribbler box because stuff the stuff that comes in there is catered to writers so i'm always gonna be using that um but yeah so that's my update for the week um i didn't finish a book this week I suck. I did get new shirts. I have been thinking about a candle company and I did get some new books. Um, so stay tuned for some book hauls for next week. I think next week. I think one of the boxes is coming on tomorrow, Monday. So maybe Wednesday or Thursday I'll have a book haul up for that box because I think I'm going to do them separately since one box is 20 historical romances and the other box is 25. So that'll probably be a long video if I combine the two. So we're just gonna we're gonna split it up. Um but yeah so I'm going to go edit this video, listen to probably some more of Mexican Gothic, and probably do some more brainstorming, and I really don't understand this. I don't know if this is a necklace or not. Where's the little cheat sheet card? Okay. Oh, it's a wristlet. That's why... Guys, I like it better around my wrist anyways. So there we go, wristlet. Yeah. All right, until next week. Mwah. Bye.